looking at our income tax formula, we're down in what I would call the below the line deductions, more specifically the itemized deductions. Remember that the first half of our income tax formula is basically a funny income statement. Most income statements have an income minus expenses resulting in net income. Here we have income minus various deductions resulting in taxable income. In a prior section, we focused on what could be called the above the line deductions or the adjustments to income, which could also sometimes be called the schedule one deductions. And now we're focusing in on what I would call the below the line deductions, which are actually the greater of either the standard deduction or the itemized deductions. We have to keep these locations of deductions in our mind because they will have different tax implications. As we saw in prior sections, the adjustments to income or above the line deduction are probably not as popular. They're probably not as well known as some of the items in the itemized deductions. However, if you qualify for some of these above the line deductions, one of the most common ones being, for example, an IRA, they are beneficial because you don't have to clear a hurdle before you get a benefit from them, as is the case with the itemized deductions, in which case we have to have enough itemized deductions to clear the standard deductions to get a benefit from the itemized deductions.